Yeah. 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 Uh, can you tell us how you did that? Yeah. Um, well, I started around April last year. I just started, you know, bringing my own lunch. And that was like, you know, you can't just like try something. You got to make like a bunch of little changes over a long period of time. So the first thing, like just to kind of kick start it, I was like, you know, I'm not going to eat anything I don't make myself. Mm. And I started off just, I was like, I'll make a turkey sandwich for lunch and I'll just bring it out. Because, you know, I used to go take the cafeteria down. I go in and be like, <laughs> I got a sandwich, soup, and uh, some fries. Don't be bashful with the honey mustard. And, you know, and so I just started with that. And then after a little bit of just bringing my own lunch, I was like, you know, I could probably switch to a five or one bar for lunch and not be that much more hungry. And that's kind of how I started finishing the year out and I started losing some weight then. And I was like, you know, it's very important to have something to encourage you. And for me, it was when I started to see I was losing weight, that made a really big difference. You know, I kind of ping pong it back and forth my whole life. Like I was a college football player, got really, big into that it was a healthy big but you know 295 pound like college lineman and then you know then I went down got down to 225 for rowing that was probably the best shape of my life and then you know you have kids and job and grow up and some things get away from you and I I was tipping the scales at 350 last year and I would I wanted some positive feedback and for me it was started weighing myself every day and you know, you see yourself go down a pound, that that carries you through the day. You're like, hey, you know what? Maybe I won't get that slice of pizza. Mm. Like, I did lose a pound, I don't wanna put it back on. So, finished off the year strong last year. And then I was like, you know, let's just keep adding little changes. So, I work at Coveley all summer, as you guys know, and I was like, you know what? While I'm at Cove, I'm not gonna eat lunch there. I'm gonna skip it and I started doing that for the first week and I was like that's not bad I can keep doing this then instead of like just sitting around for lunch I was like, you know I do work at a pool how about during my lunch I start swimming some laps and you know I was really doing that doing that and, I, and I've been pretty steady going down since I started doing it which was great and I just keep kind of adding another little step, little step. I uh, was talking to one of the members at Coveley and he was telling me about this one book on intermittent fasting. And that's when I really think like, poured a little gasoline on the fire. That's when I really started seeing some like weight come off. And you know, I started doing some research, like I'm a, I'm a science guy. And like the science behind it made sense. You know, you're not gonna touch fat while your liver still has glycogen in it. You're not gonna touch glycogen while there's free blood sugar available. So, you know, I cut down my eating and just, like most diets are a way to trick yourself into burning more calories than you consume. And that's really the long and short of it. So, I started this intermittent fasting and I, I've really had some good success for probably the last two months probably all August, all September, I've gotten down to where I'm just eating dinner. And I uh, drink a lot of water, I switch to black coffee, chai tea, and I just drink like seltzer and water all day. And that really has been shedding them off. And just to, with the idea of like, just to add a little change each time, I, I started going to the gym every day you know, while I'm at school. I don't have an eighth or ninth period. And instead of uh, eating lunch, I, I'm taking my lunch eighth and ninth, you know, during my free, go down, get a workout in. And then, you know, you feel like it's a free day. Like, if you go home, you have a big meal, that's all right. Like, you're already in the red. I mean, sorry, you're already in the black from where I was. So even if I eat the biggest meal ever, it's still gonna... Sun's out. So what have you been doing? Yeah, oh yeah, i doing a lot of cardio gotten back on the erg first time in a while you know doing some rowing 
I've been really hitting the bike hard every day. So it's, you know, just kind of do some cardio to start off, a good 20 minutes of that. Then uh, do a nice, you know, I, I base, I'm not lifting like I lifted when I was in college. I got like a two day schedule, so that way you give it like a 48 hour rest. I'll do like, you know, chest five tries, and then the next day I'll do like back shoulders. You know, I'll always try and incorporate some legs in there, but uh, really focusing on like, you know, just toning and cardio. I'm not going for strength or power anymore, you know, it's not, it's not really what I need, so. Some questions. Um, you know, how how's how are you feeling? Like, how's oh, feel everything great. make you feel? Yeah, I feel great. Like, honest, it's hard to it's hard to put a finger on it, like at the time. But you know, when you look back, like you just when you when you're that unhealthy, and I was, like you don't realize like how kind of down that makes you all the time, and. Now looking back on it, it's a lot easier to look back and be like, geez, you know, like, it's called eating your feelings, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. serious. And, you know, it almost feels like I'm coming out of like a 10 year coma. Serious. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the scariest part. It's like, like, I'm a stress eater. I'm also a happy eater. I'm just an eater. Like, <laughs> I like eating. <laughs> it's like, I enjoy cooking. It's one of my favorite things. I, I love it. And like, you know, you just can't let it get away from you, you know? And it, it's honest, like, I still kind of get surprised. Like, I think I look at least like 10 years younger and it, it feels a lot better now. It really does. And just, you know, it's like, see some you know you see a friend of yours and you're breaking a sweat and it's like what happened you run a marathon it's like nah stairs <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> like like that you know that that sucks <laughs> and you know just you seniors better watch out man i'm gonna be gonna be freaking pounding that court during the uh basketball game this year all right, all right. so that'll be fun <laughs> I won't be boxing out as hard, but uh, I'll be. Bloody nose. Uh, uh, it wasn't bloody nose. It was black eye. Oh yeah, that's what. It was. Yeah, it was yep. a black eye. But yeah, it's just it's a nice change, and I just needed to. Like, another thing that like, you know, you got to think about. It's like my old man died at fifty nine from a heart attack, and you know, I'm closer to fifty than twenty now, so. It's like, I really don't want to drop dead when I'm like 60, you know? And I figured I took enough years off my life by carrying that weight for a while. So, you know, like in all seriousness, it was just time for a change, you know? So, what are you gonna do? But yeah, and it's honestly like, kids like, what, do you have a scare? Like, what, what, what causes? Everyone's like, oh, what'd you do? What'd you do? Like, why? And it was just, it was just kind of like, can't make one big overarching thing all you can do is like do a little bit each day mm -hmm. and then just kind of stick with it and like one thing is weigh yourself every day like if you want to lose weight just weigh yourself every day it's, it's little reminders and no one can do it but yourself it's, like, hey, it's not you know it's like trying to get in shape you don't you don't buy it you rent it and like rents do every day yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Make sure you stay at the park. Yeah.